Let me just tell you. Yeah, you're in for a treat here. Yeah, it's pretty bad, actually. Check this out. What is up, everybody? That's Ryan's right, Bloodstalker, and we're back with some more Animalica 2.0. And I must confess, I am recording this over the video. Yes, once again, Windows has bent me over, forced me to grab my ankles, and had its way with me. Um, I have more jokes, but they're bad taste, so I'm just going to stop with that one. So yeah, so not only did Disney screw everybody with Fog buying Fox in the Star Wars movie, <laughs> Windows is screwing us with their wonderful update. Yay, update. Anyway, a long story short, this has been the worst week of my life. I've had more problems out of my PC because of Windows, because of other things. No audio, sometimes audio, a little bit of audio, nothing. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm getting this out because I have, I mean, it is late right now. It is already almost 10.30 at night. And I'm still trying to figure out what my audio problems is recording. I still don't know what they are. I'm going to have to fix it in the morning. Um, so my apologies to you guys for this. But I figured I recorded this episode twice. Uh, the first time we built a workshop. We started getting some storage going. We're going to do a little exploration. Well, that was supposed to be for the third video. Well, this is now the fourth video. And uh, we haven't put one up yet because I can't do anything with it. So I deleted those other ones. This is the one where we're going to do some exploring. So when you start back off on the island, you do have your other little island where you would go to to transport. We went there and checked everything out. Now I've explored the, the three-story house that's here, or the two-story house, and the little church and the other buildings. And you're able to get a good amount of stuff. It's just like before. It's a good place to go right off the bat to grab things. Still, some of the buildings are not accessible, but, you know, you get the drift. Now, other they've done some updates to graphics and textures and stuff like that. So the game looks freaking amazing. Um, you know, we're back here getting cursed wood. We're back in the little church. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Um, I will honestly say that I'm digging the hell out of this update more and more every day. It's just that good. It's it's honestly, I've been enjoying the crap out of it. Now, when it comes to the game, not a lot has changed. Everything's still kind of similar. There's still a lot of stuff to do and still a lot of places to go. I figured for this season, what we're going to do is focus mostly not on the gathering like we used to. I'll do a lot of that stuff off camera. A lot of the stuff we've crafted before in the past, I'll probably craft that off camera or on camera, and we'll go from there. Um, but we've seen all the craftables that are out there. I mean, it's not new to us. There are some new things we can find. There is a whole slew of just new content in this game. Not to mention maps and everything. It's, it's really, they've done a great job on it. I can't tell them that enough. Now, there are some little bugs and glitches and little things that happen. Um, you see, in the video you're watching, you'll see some of the play. Weird things happen. I had a lot of weird stuff. I had a situation where I tried to get on my horse, and it's not in this video. It was in the other one. But my, I, I like went parallel to it with my arms out, but I couldn't move or anything. And uh, periodically, the horse will get stuck on invisible objects that just don't seem to be there. It's crazy, I know. Now, when I initially came over here, I took the back way I used to always go. This time, when I'm leaving out of the city, this little, this little town or house or whatever, I decided to take this bridge out because I wanted to see what's changed. Um, you know, you still have the dead deer here you find, the deer carcass you grab up with the little monsters terrible. eating it. But those, those, those demon hound things or whatever, they're spawners. I haven't seen any of those yet. I don't know if they're still a thing, the spawners, that is, because we've seen them before. I ran into one and one, got cha one chased me to the gas station and I... I wet myself a little bit. Wasn't pretty, but it happened. Yes, it did. Now, not a lot's changed over here. It's still about the same. I think they've done some... I, I feel like they redid the, the texturing and the land and stuff, but for the most part, I couldn't really tell you. Um, now, the camp is still up there, a little campsite. You can get some loot there. You can grab some stuff up. Now, if you recall... Now, for all of us, we're all having to start over. They couldn't keep our save games. So keep in mind, I know I just passed stuff too, by the way. I was just wanting to look around, really, more so this video. Like I said, I don't want to gather on camera as much as I did last season. I just, I think that just, sometimes it's fun when we're just chit-chatting about things. But for the most part, it gets really monotonous. And I think I'm going to be doing a lot of that, like I said, off camera. But when you start this game, you want to go this way and get all of this stuff that's around here. You want to go to all these little spaces that's close by where you're living. Because that's where you get a lot of resources initially. 
Now there is an island that we'll come up here to in a minute. And you want to go to that island because on there is a stack of, I think, 30 or 20 arrows. I cannot remember. Now the funny thing is this actually gives you gold ore, I believe. It's these rocks I'd never seen before, so I was hitting rocks I'd never seen and things like that. It's kind of what I wanted to do. Now as far as like some of the rough cuts or whatnot, I mean, going through it, the game seems pretty pretty seamlessly flawless almost. There are some spots where things will get stuck. Like right through here, all of a sudden I just fall in a sinkhole. I don't understand what happens, but yeah, it happens. See? <laughs> I love it. And there's a couple of parts where that happens, going across the bridge, things like that. It's just minor little bugs and glitches. The worst thing, though, that I've had happen is when you open a chest, if you don't loot that chest and you close it, everything disappears. Now, that was in one of, like, the big crates, so don't do that. Here's another bug, too. When I was trying to get on my horse, I got off my horse, was trying to pick up that rope and that sharp stone, I couldn't pick them up. It wouldn't let me. It didn't give me the icon, so I had to move the horse away, then I could do it. So I don't know if that's a, I don't know what that is. I don't know what you want to call that. Now, once I moved the horse away, like I said, I could pick it up, no problem. thought it was weird, though. Because there's sometimes objects that look like stuff you can pick up and you can't pick them up. That's, that is in the game sometimes. Um, you'll notice it with like the, it more so at the main base when you go down the vault. Now this is the island I was talking about. You want to go over on this island and you want to basically, you want to, there's a, up in the middle of it is a chest. Now I went ahead and grabbed some rocks up there and see if I could grab them too. But in the middle of this island is that chest right here. You open that up and you're going to get plenty of arrows. You get a crossbow. You get 30 arrows, you get a crossbow, a fire axe, a nice, well, we picked up a nice pick already. But you get a lot of, you get a lot of good starting stuff. It's like a secret stash, I guess, in a way. It's pretty cool, though. That is the best starter kit you can get in the game, and I encourage you guys to go to this island and grab it. It's worth the swim. It does take a little bit of time, though. Now, back at base, if you started off and stayed on this little base island right here, you kind of, you had to, in order to travel, you'd have to make a ritual fire. Now, the ritual fire is what you do to travel your fast points. Now, they've changed this island up. I didn't realize it. I saw the balloon up there and made the joke about wanting to go check it out. But, honestly, I didn't realize what it was. The balloon up there, and you guys probably knew this, is actually the fast travel point now. And I love it because it's actually got animation for it when you go to travel. And we'll see that later on. But, it, for the most part, it's pretty cool. Now it's getting nighttime. Now one thing I did notice in this game since the last update is the day and night cycles go pretty quick. I mean it's, yeah, I don't know what it is. I, I'm not used to being that fast. It seemed like it sped up a little bit more. Now you can go down that ramp and it takes you all the way to a locked area where you can get 20 arrows right off the bat. Now the regular arrows, not trank arrows. I believe the regular arrows. Okay, no, they're trank arrows. It's where you pick up some extra tranks. Now it's a long ass walk. I'm just going to put that out there. Nothing's changed. It still has the coming soon logo back there where you can't go in there. Now the vault back there is still available. You can go in there and loot it up like I was talking about. I've recorded it so many times so I don't know if I've even said it. But you can go loot all that stuff in there. Now we're full up on everything. I have to make some more stuff. It's crazy as I'll get out. Just like before, storage is key in this game. You really got to get your storage together. Now not only is keeping your storage together but like keeping it organized and sorted i'm not going to be there for a while i legitimately we're going to have to i'm going to have to spend i'm going to spend some time this weekend and playing the holidays coming up i plan on playing a lot of computer games i don't plan on recording a whole lot i'm going to do i'm going to probably get some a lot of videos done i'll try to do two videos every other day or something like that just so we can get some extra content out for you guys because this is the holidays some of you guys are on vacation and bored i want to be able to entertain you provide that fun you know that source of just enjoyment whether that's through me or through my ignorance i don't know we'll have to figure that one out so but way it goes i'll be doing a lot of like that stuff off camera because that was the one thing i went back i actually been watching some of the older season and i'm trying to i'm actually trying to be better at doing youtube and so i guess this video kind of fits in i kind of suck right now i've had some bad luck bad recording i've had all sorts of shit anything that could happen bad to me has happened to me this week and it's been a very stressful week and i don't want youtube to be stressful to me it shouldn't be it's for it's fun it's what i enjoy doing i it's it's just fun lately it has not been fun i don't ever want to miss a deadline and i think that's the problem is is that i put too much pressure to get things done it's sad but it's true i think the phrase just the right amount of lazy kind of describes me to that point i guess i don't know so we've got our storage sorted out i went in and made some more we're gonna head out and i wanted to go see some of the new areas in the game now there's three new zones they've added in One's like a desert with pyramids. 
cannot remember off the top of my head. We'll see it in a minute. But there's three zones total, and they look really amazing. We went and checked out the Red Desert, the Red Sands or whatnot, the pyramids. Let me just tell you, that it's amazing. It looks so good. Now this, for some reason, you got to jump. Oh, I see what it was now. It was a rope. I didn't realize the rope was in my way, but I had to jump into it. So all our classics are back. Land Base, Green Hills, Corpse Harbor, Kitsumi's Den, the Akala Desert, Amber Hills, Eagle's Nest, Colesburg, and Daba. Daba. I, I don't always say that wrong. Um, they have changed. It looks like they've changed them up, so they're all going to be worth a visit. So you got Dorado, you got the Red Mountains we've been to, Slice Land, Burning Sands, Pestilinia, that's interesting, and Dorado. Those are the three they've added in. Now there's still four more there, and there could be even more after that. I don't know. I'm telling you right now, the game is in early access. It will tax your computer, but it's worth it because it's so much fun. I really enjoy it. This right here highlighted my day. This, this made everything worth it, right there. Now this is the Burning Sands. Now this place is freaking just beautiful. With the red sand, the way the light reflects off it, the pyramids. The pyramids are pretty cool. I tried to run a horse up it. Uh, it yeah, we'll have to check that out. But when you spawn into it, yeah, it's a little bit of lag delay. You're not quite on it, but there, you know, you look around. There's just that house. There's not too much around here that they've added in. Now there will be more stuff added into these zones, just like the other ones, which we don't even know what's there yet. So we're going to have to go through all... There's going to be a ton of exploration around just to see what content's been added and what all's been tweaked and, and retextured in a sense. We're going to focus on going through the three new areas first. Then we're going to go back and we're going to look at the original areas and see what's changed and what's different about them. We know that in Katsumi's Den, they had added bad guys there. And they had added the ninjas, which kind of fit a little bit, even though it was more Japanese than it was Chinese. So, yeah. For those of you who don't know, ninjas are Chinese and the Shogun or the... Um, I can't even say it right now. The samurais were, 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 were Japanese. So it's pretty cool. I think I'm right on that. If I'm wrong, you guys are going to correct me. I have a feeling about that. Pretty legit. Now, they haven't redone the, the NPC's eyes. They're still milky white, which has always cracked my... I've always thought that was funny. Legitimately, it, it's funny to me. Now, we don't explore a whole lot of this area in this video. Thank God I didn't because it didn't record my audio and... I hate doing these voiceovers. This is like the one thing I hate to do. And the only time I ever do this is one when it has to be done because the type of video it is, like an update or something. Or number two, when I have complete failure of what I'm doing. It's kind of like when I did the first Animalica video and it was the, the last one where it was the format was weird. I had to blow it out because it recorded in 1080 instead of 1920. I don't understand that. Windows, again, I will cuss you till the end of time. You suck so much. So much. I hate you, Windows. Now, these little areas, they look like water, but I don't know what, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they're like burnt areas, but you can even see the change in the texture of the sand going from more of a sandscape. Look at the lines, a wind blown through it, to like baked rock and stuff. I mean, there's a lot of pyramids to look around. You can't get into this pyramid. I tried. Um, the other one that looked like there was, I don't know if there's entrances or not, but that's going to be for the next video. And I apologize, this video is probably going to be really short, and I'm so sorry. I, I honestly, it, it's hard to talk over everything we did in this video, and I'm going to show you the important stuff and let you get to see everything like that. Now, one of my favorite things I did try was I tried to take the horse of the pyramids. I mean, looking at this distance, it doesn't look like they're that big of blocks. I mean, seriously, check them out. I mean, they look legit okay. Yeah, kind of. Well, yeah, they're pretty damn big. So I was even kind of concerned, could you even run up? Could you could even, like yourself, your character, run up them. I was going to run the horse all the way up that side of it, and then I just realized this is going to be a pain in the ass. So I got off the horse, decided to say, you know what? Let's just run up this bad boy. Let's, let's prove him we can do this. Let me just tell you. Yeah, you're in for a treat here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad actually. Check this out. We went up to the top though. It's the most amazing view up here. And it's worth the let me just tell you, going down is faster than going up. So it's worth the trip up. Just for what you see up here. I almost want to say it's like one of the tallest points over in this in this little biome right here or whatnot. I don't know hundred percent, but it's still pretty badass. I mean, you get up here to the top. I thought maybe there'd be an entrance on the top, but it wasn't. I didn't know. I didn't pound into the ground, though. I don't think they're really... Yeah, you can't do nothing with that. But look at this. You see everything. There's a small village over there. There's another one by that pyramid. And this one looks like it dwarfs all the other pyramids, except for the ones off in the very distance. You know? I kind of like that. It looks amazing. I mean, look at this. This is probably one of the coolest things ever. 
The views in this game are amazing. The points of points you can get to to see everything on high are simply freaking amazing. And like I said though, the positive part when you climb all the way up to the top here, going down, yeah, going down is not really that hard. It actually, well, you just run down the damn thing. See, it's pretty easy. I was nervous at first, but then I just said, you know what, I got this. So I even started running at angles. I was looking for an entrance, and I couldn't find one on the pyramid. Now, I think and probably go from the bottom and look up might be a better prospect. See if there's like a doorway somewhere that I missed. I don't know. But that's it. It is what it is. So my plans for the next episode and actually play the game and talk over the game while we play the game and enjoy the game and all this fun stuff. Jesus, I'm still mad. I'm bitter. I'm butthurt over this. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, my next plans are we're going to finish exploring the Burning Sands a little bit more in depth. We're going to go through all those bases, all that stuff. We're going to go through it, get everything get it up, kitted up, and then I'm probably going to stay here and harvest for a little bit. That won't be on the episode. Then we'll go home, drop everything off, craft what I need to craft, come back, and we're going to do it all again on the new other, other biome. See, the transition for the horse from things is not... It's, it's buggy. It's really weird. The horse is having some issues, I feel like. I really do. So anyway, guys... Like I said, I know it's a short video, and I'm so sorry. You know that that's not typically my format. This is not what I do. I don't enjoy doing videos like this, but I don't want to ever not put a video out for the for a day because I just, it, I don't know. I, th I think it's it's mostly pride. I know if I didn't put a video out, you guys would be like, hey, is everything all right? You'd be, I mean, you'd be understanding when you have a problem with it, but for me, it would have been something that I didn't do, and I, I my commitment was I was going to be active, put a daily video out every single day. If anything that I do wrong or right in my life, at least let me do this one thing right. It's so sad. So, anyway, guys, all I can say is thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was short. If you did, hit that thumbs up for me. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I guarantee you my content is better than this video. Don't judge me based on this one, please. It's Windows' fault. That's all I need you to understand. Windows did it. Hashtag Windows did it. Hashtag Windows sucks. Hashtag WTF Windows. That's all I can say. Peace out, y'all.